Hello everybody, my name is Raluca Georgescu and I'm here at GPC Commerce Summit, May 2015, Romania, Bucharest. Uh, over 800 participants here today. And I'm now talking to Matt Komorowski, Head of Sales Central and Eastern Europe. Hello, Matt. Good morning, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for coming and accepting our invitation. How was it so far here in Romania? Uh, I'm very impressed with the event. I mean, uh, it's very well organized, a huge turnout, a uh, great number of people, uh, really, very positively surprised, uh, but then you know, seeing how quickly uh, you know internet is is growing in Romania, I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. How is PayPal doing in Romania and in Central and Eastern Europe? Uh, in general, we're we're very happy with uh, with the performance that uh, that we're seeing. So the, the the growth that we're seeing, it's usually uh, two to three times the the growth of the, the uh, of the domestic market or the, okay. of the reference market that we're looking at in terms of internet growth. Uh, we're seeing a huge uptick in terms of mobile uh, and in terms of the our forecast for mobile. So we're seeing mobile actually growing three times faster than uh, than desktop. Uh, and you know, for example, in Romania, at least a quarter of the uh, the transactions that we see are actually from mobile devices, whether it's tablets or smartphones. And why uh, is that, do you think? Uh, I think, you know, one, the, it's the adoption of, of smartphones among, uh, among the internet population in, in Romania. Two, it's uh, a lot of online stores in Romania are already thinking about mobile, already building their websites in uh, to be responsive, so it's much easier to actually make the purchase. And the third thing that we're seeing is a lot of our, uh, our users in Romania are actually shopping internationally, uh, and there the, uh, the level of mobile adoption or optimization among, uh, among web services is much higher, uh, and hence it's much easier to actually complete that transaction. And do you have any idea for these cross-border transactions, what verticals are especially the ones that people in Romania buy from? Yeah, so I guess there's two sides to look at it, because on one hand, it's like you said, it's the, the verticals where people buy, and I think the most that we're seeing in terms of people buying, it's, it's primarily fashion, uh, okay. followed by consumer electronics, and then, uh, and then hobbies and travel. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of the big, the big ones. And then when we look at, at companies that are actually selling from Romania, because there's quite a lot of, of, of traffic or of commerce going from Romania internationally, uh, it's primarily digital goods. It's software, it's software as a service, it's online services, digital goods, things like that. Uh, and, that's, and that's growing at, a qu at, at, at quite a nice speed as well. Okay, that's good news. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, I've been talking to some um, online services selling online in Romania and they've told me that their conversion rate grew a lot after um, implementing PayPal. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. That's uh, one of the things that we're, that we're aiming for. I mean, when we, look at, when we look at payments and we look at what we do, uh, we try to be less a payment company and more a company that's focused on actually conversion. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we see in terms of the trends around payments, it's eliminating the process of actually paying from the transaction. I mean, we as human beings want to start, you know, we, we want something and we want to get it as soon as possible and all the steps in between are simply friction. Uh, so what we try to do is, is, is eliminate that friction, whether it's, uh, you know, s simply uh, being able to complete a purchase using just your email and your password as opposed to typing in all your credit card details and your shipping information, which we offer, or, uh, enabling future payments. So you actually authorize the payment once and then all future payments, every single next time you want to complete a transaction, simply takes you know, one click or uh, for example, like you, uh, like you have with Uber, that uh, you don't even pay. You simply order your, your driver, you get out of the cab and it's been paid for already. Uh, so that's one way that we're trying to, uh, to eliminate friction and increase conversion. Then the other way is actually psychological. So a lot of the, the friction that you see with, with online purchases and, and especially international purchases is why people are actually hesitant to complete that purchase. And the main reason for that is, you know, one is the security of their payment. You know, am I going to get my product? Is my, are my financial details going to be safe? And the other really big one is uh, actually, okay, I get the product, but what happens if I don't like it, I need to send it back. What's going to be the cost of that? Yeah, the uh, return. And, exactly, and domestically, okay, the cost is not going to be that high, but if you start looking that for about international uh, commerce or orders from, from abroad, it starts getting quite expensive. And again, what we're trying to do with our with our product is to is to eliminate that friction. So in terms of, of security, we offer something called buyer protection. So in other words, if you make a purchase with PayPal and you don't receive your product or your product is different than what it was supposed to be, we will, number one, come in as a, as a mitigator in between or as a negotiator in between and help you resolve the issue with the seller. If you've, for some reason, been, uh, you know, the transaction is unauthorized by you, we'll return your money. So that's one thing in terms of security. And then on the, uh, I guess, 
the hesitation around the fees of, of, of returning the product, we implemented something called PayPal refunded returns. So this is a product, a, a project we just launched this year uh, in Romania, where if you actually buy something with PayPal from Romania or from abroad, and you don't want the product, you're not happy with it, it's not what you order, you want to return it for any reason whatsoever, simply scan the, scan the receipt for the, uh, the courier, upload it to PayPal, we'll refund you the money. The only thing that you need to do, you just need to go onto our website and you need to opt into the program. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free, and you're covered up to 30 euros uh, for, uh, for a transaction okay. in terms of return shipping. That's really cool. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. And I hope we'll have you again. I hope I'll be invited again. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks.